Okay, so I am going to read this problem to you and I just want you to follow along. So this problem says, Hayden went for a walk. On his walk, he found blank beehives. He counted blank bees in each hive. How many bees did Kaiden count? So what you're going to do is you're going to select one of your number choices, and with your first number, you're going to put it in your first blank, and your second number, you're going to put it in your second blank. Then you are going to read it again. And notice how I circled my number choice so that I know what number choice I am choosing to use. So this says Kaiden went for a walk. On his walk, he found seven beehives. He counted three bees in each hive. How many bees did Kaiden count? So what does this problem want to know? It wants to know how many bees did Kaiden count? So one way that we can solve this problem is we can break it apart and we can say that Kaiden went for a walk. On his walk, he found seven beehives. So the first thing I know that I need to do is I need to draw seven beehives. So I have seven beehives. Then it says that he counted three bees in each hive. So then I need to put three bees in each hive. And then the next thing that I need to do is I need to count all these bees because I need to figure out how many bees Kaiden counted when he was counting the bees in the hive. So then I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I know that I have 21 bees. So I would write 21 and I would circle it. Now, I don't know about you, but that was a lot of work and it took a really long time to do all of that work. So I wanna show you a few other ways that we can solve this problem. So another thing that we could do is we could write three in each hive because that's how many bees. So there's three bees in each hive. And we could count up by threes. So we could do three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. And then you could write 21 and you could circle your answer. Also, if you think about it, you were kind of adding three, how many times? You were adding three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So you had seven groups of three. So another way that you could look at this, is you could do three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and you need one more, plus three. And we know that that equals 21, and we would circle 21. One other way that you could look at this, is if we get rid of all of these threes down here, let me use my whiteboard. So if we have all of these threes right here, and that gets us to 21, we could group these threes, and we could do six, 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 and then there's one more three. So I know that two sixes is 12, and then six, nine, and then I could do nine and 12, and that gets me to 21. So you can group your numbers to even smaller, and then you just have to understand that this is three seven times. So, it's seven groups of, so this sign represents groups of three, because there's seven threes. There's seven hives, there's three bees in each hive. And that equals 21. So the goal is to get to this number sentence and you need to understand that when I have a number choice, and I go on a walk and I find seven beehives and in each beehive I count three bees that I have 21 bees all together that I counted. Okay, good job. So now we're going to erase our board and we're going to move on to another problem.